This year, the Beijing local government is going to spend 2.71 million dollars to save bookstores from closing. Like in many countries, bookstores in China are shutting down due to competition from online booksellers such as Dongdong.com, JD.com, and Amazon China. The 2.71 million fund will be given out mostly in the form of cash awards, but only the bookstores that meet specific criteria are eligible to apply. Critics argue that most of the beneficiaries will be big state-owned bookstores. Prompting many people to raise questions like, should the government intervene in the bookstore businesses? Are physical bookstores worthy of being saved when e-books and online booksellers are the future? The Chinese government has been promoting the idea that bookstores are very important to the country's cultural and creative industries, which are an essential part of the country's blueprint to revive its culture. But this is not the world's only attempt to save physical bookstores against the threats from online booksellers and e-books. France has set up a fund of five million euros to lend loans to booksellers that have cash flow problems. They also have a fixed book price law that makes sure no seller can discount more than five percent off the cover price of new books, not even online sellers. Japan, Korea, Switzerland, and many other countries have adopted similar policies. This is not happening in the U.S. though. The U.S. government sees this policy as protectionism and does not really intervene with bookstore businesses. The country's second-largest bookstore, Borders, filed for bankruptcy in 2011 and closed all its 399 stores.